Hi boys and girls, we're going to be doing three pages in our Journeys Reader's Notebook. This is Grade 1, Volume 1. We're in Lesson 14. We're going to start off with our spelling words. And here they are. Remember this week, all of our spelling words have an A, a consonant, and an E. All of them do, somewhere in the word. And the job of the E is to make this one say it's long sound. So this is l late, late. It says its name. It's long sound late. Do you remember? K, aim, came. Remember the e is silent. All, its job is to make this one say its name. Came. G, ave, g, ave, gave. Are you gonna know how to spell gave tomorrow? Practice. Brave. Brave. E is silent, but you have to put it. If you forget to put the E at the end of the word, then you will get that word wrong. You have to put it. It's doing its job, scaring the vowels into saying their names, their long sounds. Make. Make. Oh, here's one that you'll have to study. Shape. Know that SH makes the SH sound and spell it with an SH. When Mrs. Gillum says shape, the first sound you'll spell with an SH. SH. Ape. Shape. Finally, our two um, challenge words. Waves. Waves. The grandma waves at the grandchildren when they're leaving um, after Thanksgiving. Waves. Interesting that S, now you'll have to remember the S spells the Z sound. Waves. We still have the A, another letter in E pattern, and the S spells the Z sound. When you're spelling waves, don't start it with a Y. Yes, Y does sound like w when you're saying it, y, but the w sound is spelled with a w, waves. And finally, I think this is pretty hard, chases. But man, I'll think you're a genius if you can spell it ch, that's spelled with a ch, ace, the evil e's making the a say its name, s, chases, like it's happening right now, the dog chases the cat. Okay, let's go ahead and do that in our um, reader's notebook. We're on page 206. Spelling words with the long A sound. So, write the spelling word from the box to complete each sentence. I got here came. I got here late. Oh, that's it. Got here late. That happens. L, A. Now, how can I spell A? Oh, it has an A, and I know there's going to be E later, making it say its name. Late. Will you came me a cake? No, that's going to be bake. Will you bake? So where is that spelling word that says bake, bake? What? There is no spelling word that says bake. It's make. Let's circle the word make. Will you make? And then put the silent E that gives all its power over to that one to say its name. Make. He hmm to play with me. He came to play with me. Probably. He braved to came with to play with me, he shaped to play with me, he gave to play with me. No, it's came. He came to play with me. Max is big and brave. Shape, gave, brave. Okay, sometimes when you work out and you get big, you know, you eat lots of protein and you exercise, 
you do become braver. You feel more confident that you could defend yourself and those you love. Max is big and brave. Or maybe he's talking about a pet dog. I have no idea. He hmm me a new pen. He shaped me a new pen or he gave me a new pen. Gave, of course. G. That's the heart sound. A. V. E makes the A saint's name. What hmm in, is that box? Okay, the only word left is shape, so it has to be shape. What shape is that box? Maybe it's a cube shape. Maybe it's a rectangular prism shape. Maybe it's a cylinder shape. I don't know what kind of box it is. Okay, so you can always pause the video here and practice writing all of your spelling words. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this down. So this is a spiral review. Okay. Listen to the nouns. Read along and circle the correct noun to name each picture. Then write the noun. Okay, so you're looking at two of these. So are th is this prize or prizes? Prizes, because there's more than one. And when there's more than one of something, you have to put an S at the end of the word, unless it's like an irregular one. That means there's like weirdo nouns that, that mean more than one without having an S at the end. Prizes. Okay, is this a child or children? It's a child. Now, that's an irregular word. No, that's not. This one is. Children, it means more than one child, but it doesn't end with an S. That's an irregular noun. But anyways, there's just one child, so this is the word we want. Ch. C-H. Child. Child. Okay, here we have, do we have a woman or do we have women? We have women. Women is an irregular noun that means more than one woman. It doesn't have an S at the end, but it still means more than one woman. It's women. These are women. Let's go ahead and write that down. Wim and women. More than one woman is women. Finish the sentence with the correct verb. Plants needs water to grow <laughs> or plants need water to grow? The answer is need. When there's too many S's, it just sounds wrong. It just sounds wrong. If you're around, um, yeah, it just sounds wrong. Plants need water to grow. And then finally, a camel eat desert plants. A camel eats desert plants. Which one sounds right to you? A camel eats desert plants. That's right. They do. We learned that. In fact, we're, uh, we're about to make a little report. Let's just go back to where they're talking about camels. Back here, way back here. And make our lives easier for this last one. Okay, so let's go ahead and have it. We're going to be writing a, a planning a little report about animals. And it says to write a question about the animal you choose. Then find and write facts to answer your questions. Well, they already... You know, we already answered and had questions about their bodies and how long they live and the foods they eat. So when you want to learn about something, about an animal, you think about what you want to learn about them. What questions do you have about them? And then you take notes. But we're just going just gonna to go ahead and make our topic be camels. Right? And 
your question might be, um, so your question might be, well, gosh, we have lots of answers to questions here. Um, your question is, what are they? Or how, what, what would you say? Your question is, let's just say, what are they? What are they like? That can be your question. What are they like? And then we're recycling this, these notes into a report. So you could say for your first fact, you could say they have humps on their backs. Fact one, they, these aren't notes anymore, have humps, I think that's a very interesting fact, on their backs. That's where they store their, their fat and also water that they need for days when they can't find any plants to eat and water to drink. They have humps on their backs. That's telling us what they're like. What's another fact that we learned that we're recycling from our notes? They live 50 to 60 years. So let's write that fact down. So they live 50 to 60 years. Okay, so you can tell that fact about them. And yes, I'm writing fast and you can always stop the video. In fact, we're about to stop. We're not going to be doing this page over here. So we're about to stop after this, this practice page. Okay, what's another fact I could use from when I'm planning my report? Another fact about camels and what they're like. Let's go back to this, recycle our notes. What do they eat? They eat desert plants. So over here, I'm going to say they eat desert plants. There's another fact. So my report might be called camels. And I might say, what are camels like? They have humps on their backs. They live 50 to 60 years. They eat desert plants. And then I might end it with something like, camels are way cool. But anyway, that's, they didn't have us do that part. Um, boys and girls, that's it for our reader's notebook for this week. Good job. And hope you're learning a lot. Bye-bye. Actually, this is not ending very well. Let me, can't find my cursor. Okay, where are you, cursor? There you are.